Hey everyone, mm. Wildfire here, uh, and we are back for another series for, uh, well, reactions. So we did Black, uh, Black Imus series that was, um, what was it? I actually forgot this series. Shattered Universe, Scratch Universe. Shattered Universe, Scratch yeah. Universe yes. Scratch and universe. Uh, and uh, slice, slice of Life. So that was the two series mm -hmm. we start we started with, and for the for this brand new series, it's something completely new. It's about the game Destiny. T it's about the game Destiny Two, and it is from Riley Reloaded. I've I've personally watched Riley Reloaded for a while. And he, you are going to enjoy. To uh, you're going to enjoy it. And I'm with my usual. I'm um, with my usual cast, starting with I Isaac Twenty. Hello. The Nightmare Emperor, also called that uh, as, as Cole. <laughs> Yo. And Rubber Man, also called. Rob. Was good. Yes. And without without further ado, we'll see you on the flip side. In Destiny, there are many different means of attack. When the unending hordes of adversaries to the city come knocking at our doors, the Vessels of the Light have an expansive arsenal and toolkit to split their numbers and leave the battlefield decimated. This build crafting is something that Bungie has spent a while perfecting to the point where you can get lost in the amount of gear and different builds that you can cook up. But despite their true, true. number of ways of shaping yeah. a deranged psychopath that dances at certain <laughs> doom, kills each other for sport, and consistently throws themselves off the tower for fun to the point where they need a no-go zone at the bottom. We're Starting strong. So get fucking obliterated. You're yeah. starting I'm strong. None of that shit. Here comes Papa Ryder once again. Bury his face deep into the ass cheeks of Sabathu and every other week. Dear God, what do we have now? I'm Barthen? Cunning and lying. Huh? I'm the God of stubborn. Barthen? Oh my. Back to once again descend into the throne world to put an end to the hive goddess of cunning and lies. That's right. Today I'm standing still, emoting in my wells while my little buddy attacks my enemies for me and pose the question, can you beat the Wish King <laughs> campaign on Legendary using only an arc soul. So to start things off, I switched to oh, my storm spoiler alert, by the way. Old subclass selection screen. I had on two utility kickstarters. <laughs> I don't have oh, it, was, so I guess I'll be fine. My that was before arc 3.0. The thermoshock plating is I am an extremely squishy boy and get folded like a blanket every time I. Oh, was prior. I, I, have a, I, I haven't used a uh, warlock yet. <laughs> At some point, I'll have to make one. The warlocks are fun. This also changes its name from being an arc soul to being a sentient soul. again. It's been I want to know if this. Be able to be I just enjoy my Titan way too much. Wild <laughs> has made me addicted to the Yee. I don't know why. Google what sentience means. The only answer I can yeah, find is that sentience means that it can <laughs> Every single one of your Destiny videos. But it's not exactly free will, which is kind of a sad thought because it only lives about 20 seconds. Probably understands that thought and is forced to do the will of a chuckle nuts. But despite <laughs> the fact that I'm about to will into existence a <laughs> sentient <laughs> creature against its wishes and then immediately enslave it, I equip my getaway artist, realize that not only am I broke in real life, but my warlock is as well, and I won't be able to switch my armor subclass type to stasis. For the Kickstarter mods, I take a field trip down to the tower, grab a bunch of upgrade modules, swap my armor's affinity, but I'm once again stopped dead in my tracks by brokenness. As I need three ascendant shards in order to get this gear, out of it. I buy two from Raul and realize that my warlock needs to get his shit together and head off to the vault to see what is about to be sent to the DCV. I sat here for a while because I love all my gear, but I wound up picking my sun bracers as I had two, and the new one I put in the vault was slightly better than my masterwork ones. I scrapped it, fully upgraded my getaway artist, and was finally ready to take on the arrival. Immediately upon entering the first fight, I am surprised by the amount of damage that I can deal with the Arc Soul. Since my gear won't be dropping below the mission power level, your boy Riley can stroll on in and casually decimate the battlefield with breakneck efficiency. They may be thinking, Riley, the fuck you got a glaive for? And to that I say, mind your damn business. <laughs> well, well, my thinking was that I could use the shield to hide while the Arc Soul damages my enemies. Something I quickly dropped because, yes, there's no way to actually charge the shield 
shield without launching a projectile at enemies, completely invalidating the run. Either way, at least the glaive looks <laughs> Yeah, cool. there we go. I my arc sold to deal as much damage as touching food chunks yep. in a dirty sink, but to my surprise, you build I up come your out shield full throttle shooting and start enemies. Baja blasting. This thing hits hard, and even better, yeah. it's surprisingly easy to aim. Bungie put a lot of work into how fine this thing aims. It's expertly tuned to such a degree Somehow. that you can target separate enemies clustered together with slight camera movements. It is well calibrated. I thought this thing was just going to do its own thing. Like, f*** you, Riley, but this makes the challenge. <laughs> I kill the incinerator, pick up the fuel canister, watch as my little buddy lays waste to the scions and hurl myself towards the gun. One great thing you can do with the sentient arc soul is if you pop a well before your timer is up, it will refresh it back to full extent. To infinity and beyond! Marking the first and last time I use foresight <laughs> and intelligence in one of my videos. Critical thinking and logical reasoning? No, we don't do that here. I'm the guy who regularly kicks himself from his own discord. One thing I found out during this time is that if you eat your grenades and your arc soul fizzles up, oh, dear. Of giving you your sentient arc soul, you will get the duration of the sentient one, and it will still have the name there, but the only thing you'll be left with is the limp wiener one that shoots in three round bursts and is about as disappointing as doing master level challenges and getting a 54 stat roll. I think it's my first taste of the phalanx I know, right? pain in the ass and stinky as the arc soul cannot lock onto the middle bit unless you oh, handle yeah. it properly, which in the heat of battle can be a challenge. Mm -hmm. They also take quite a bit of damage, making them one of the most Especially dangerous enemies when you're getting fired at from all angles. I also get a sample of the shield yeah, that's sure. the centurions walk in while I'm hacking the terminal, and their shields can take quite a beating, but that's nothing spazzing around the room like a sporadic five-year-old can't deal with, and I hack the terminal flawlessly. <laughs> I then become an enemy <laughs> ace one thirty above like and get riddled with the engineer. I grab the wrench and open the fuel lines. You thought I was gonna say tighten my nuts, but the power to kill God with my ten times over. charge the gun, run into more trouble <laughs> with oh the phalanxes, get splattered on the wall in a true Riley Reloaded Challenge fashion. <laughs> the game spawns me on the other side of the universe. I return, dunk the fusion cells, misangle my jump, and almost hurl myself into the pit, land like the beautiful butterfly I am in these pipes and begin the assault on the engine bay. My poor positioning winds up getting me laid clean out as the Dead. main engineer riddles my squishy warlock body <laughs> with holes and upon returning I wind up finding the perfect angle on this engineer. I'm honestly That's amazed cheeky. by the hitbox in this game. That's I mean, so fucking cheeky. God damn. God damn. It may be a bit cheap of a tactic but nothing turns me on more than a well made hitbox. I kill the engineer and move on to the other side clearing out the little enemies along the way. I then yeah. use another neat little trick mm. of the arc soul. As long as it has a view on the enemy it can attack them even if you're behind cover. You just need to have the arc soul blow me up, making it easy to attack enemies from a distance. At least until they unlock their inner gamer chakras and start slinging grenades like madmen. Nowhere be safe, laddie. I dance on the elevator to signal my victory, arc soul two of the scions, but the last fucking Houdini's <laughs> me and winds up instant transmissioning behind me, melting my body, and in some sort of sick collaboration with Bungie, the scion and the architect send me back to the bottom of the elevator. I return, load myself up like the good little bullet I am, and launch myself towards Savathun's ship with expert ducking and dodging, I bob and weave my way to victory in the burden of tribute encounter, as the knights have arc shields, and for once I match gaming hard. One thing I love about the arc soul is the aiming is so fine, if I separate a moth from its host, I aim slightly up, the arc soul oh, will yeah, that's a good detail. the moth, giving me a way to deal big damage. I'm okay with using environmental damage in these challenges, as long nice. as the way I procced it was with the specified challenge method. I pull a sneaky on this ogre by attacking it from above, clear the outside, I then bust out the fallen guillotine to give myself a AC-30 above! I then attack the hive guardian, I mean just look at the damage. AC-130. Sorry, no, over and slapping them cheeks. I almost eat it big time, but with some lazy dodging, I take him out on the first revive. And while he's reviving, my arc soul has a grudge or something and just keeps laying Enemy into him. AC but I then join in on the dark display and begin styling on him as well. He revives, <laughs> not happy with my clowning. I take him down once again, and then with my sword out, I get to witness the ghost crushing glorious third person. I just love the animations in this game, and I oh, love yeah. more actions like this. When I did not know that. Tributes, the wizard yeah, that, that, was the first, yeah. that was the first encounter <laughs> on the last tribute with the high Guardian, when you crush the ghost, given the beautiful opportunity to show the hive how psychotic I didn't know you could I turn person and get the sword out. Sicko style, mm -hmm. right in front of the ogre while he's oh, yeah. slowly disintegrated by my little friend. And with the absolute disrespect burning <laughs> into the hive, I thank the last. <laughs> oh, I just, the with with this, I just want to say, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> slowly whittling her down, it goes extremely well, easily enough. <laughs> Literally, to around casually without getting potato sacked by the enemies. I take down Savathun, and she once again taunts me, and I beat the rival using only an arc soul. My two favorite missions in these challenges are the investigation in the mirror as they are relatively short and can be completed quickly. Thanks to the Ark Soul not being complete wiener water, I can descend upon my enemies like an angel of death. I clear the enemies in the beginning by hopping around and evading their strikes. The Hive Light Bear hucks a mighty grenade and turns me into vapor, but I return, kill the Light Bear, oh, yeah. levels, gather the deep sight, and enact yet another tactical runaway from this night. I hop on my beautiful Star Devil Racer. Look at it in all its glory. Your sparrow may be fancier, but mine shaped like a needle and f like a sewing machine. <laughs> of all my jokes, <laughs> <laughs> 
Then <laughs> <laughs> assault the hive at the gates. Bunny hopping left and right. Is ineffective as an acolyte trained by the American sniper takes me out. I resurrect and clean them up, then begin activating. <laughs> trained like an American sniper. Knight gets brave and decides to charge me and my little art buddy, not knowing that I'm one of the most dangerous rappers in the game. I pop a rift to mark the borders of my Thunderdome, and he willingly steps in. Bad move, bitch boy. He both humbles and fades me by folding me like a launcher. <laughs> not one to give up as I'm one of the <laughs> 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 The knight's really hits really hard. The fight between the scorn and the hive. I they do. Between them, dealing death at all angles. I kill the last. But so do I, with my magic camera known as Jotun. Smile, kaboom. Keep, keep in mind, he's doing this only with the warlock ability. Yes, I know. Challenge runs to whether or not it will pound my ass like Gambit RNG. This opening section has me getting killed by an animal, introducing me to one of the most difficult enemies inside of this run. A shrieker. You see the arc so oh, 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 god. Oh, I hate shriekers. shriekers. He's been 100% tuned for every single enemy. The only way to deal damage to a shrieker is to shoot it. They are a pain on the problem comes <laughs> the dungeon. The dungeon. will not be able to hit it unless it has the perfect angle. Usually you have to jump into the air in order to hit it, leaving you exposed to the attack of the shrieker, and they will melt you down in seconds on legendary. Thankfully, in this mm, opening yep. section, there is a rock that I can poke the arc so out pain of it. it enough that I can hit the purple center. This first room goes pretty well as I'm still dealing pretty good damage, and a lot of enemies in here have arc shields. I melt the smaller enemies and sword block these hive acolytes in a stylish fashion. I then polish off that the light nice bear, block, crack actually. ghost, and get ready to face the scorn. Cleaning up the mm. scorn goes pretty well with the only real challenge being the abomination that spawns. But I'm once again able to get the angle on them and combine fancy floating and sword guarding to take it out. Now here is where things get a little dicey. The scorn walker has a ton of health and targeting a specific leg isn't something the arc soul likes to do. It mm -hmm. seems that the walker is split into three separate parts where the arc soul will actually target. The front, the middle, and the back. You need to walk with the walker in a circle in order to hit the legs you want as it constantly tries to readjust to hit you. I try to tank the damage and then when it takes a lot out of me, I get a little too close and jump to evacuate, but the walker launches me at Mach 8 into a wall, breaking nearly every bone in my fragile warlock body. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at Mach 8, and when it tries I'm pretty sure at Mach 8, you'd just be a splatter on the wall. This makes it so yeah. You just wouldn't dust. Yeah. Next yeah. You'd just be <laughs> dust, exactly. Using my sword yeah. to fly around the arena and dodge the attacks, I can extend my damage up time. Once I blow off a leg, I jump on top to allow my arc soul to hammer on the innards. Even with that, though, look at how much damage I actually deal. Why do I hit life? This took an extremely <laughs> long time. Sadly, this is Why the only thing on the side of the campaign. <laughs> this fight alone took about 30 minutes of circling the tank in order to bring it down. 30 Usually, this minutes. This is the darkness zone, so I'm free to abuse my immortality. Oh, that's pain. In the next room, I'm introduced to the scorn equivalent. That's probably the reason why I can't do raids. <laughs> I mean, mostly because I don't have many people to do it with, but the two is like, they take so long. <laughs> was gonna walk in here doing a challenge like this surprisingly this some uh, black like my first was running deep stone was 45 minutes but even minutes. with that I managed to kill them all and to my surprise the arc was not too bad. able to target the crystal I was thinking I was going to have to shoot it I would have been happy taking that L since it's an inanimate object or is it a sentient being crammed into a crystal I'm not sure anymore objects are weird in testing but I get scorn raidered once again yeah god, that's fair oh god, god scorn raiders no together, but I killed the no the crystals and descend into the well in the well I get killed twice and in one of the crystal rooms instead of spawning a scorn captain the game puts yeah. in my own personal health and drops two yeah. shriekers on me who decide that, that happened to me mm. and me that happened to me next time i roll through it puts the captain there and I'm free to progress the blackburn giveth and the blackburn taketh away i still fall a couple more times but manage to complete the first <laughs> boss phase and enter into the actual boss fight this fight kicks my ass left and right however this is one of the first times i have an ability that can deal damage and takes away from me having to actually aim my weapon there's no real trick to this boss fight you just need to play it well and if you get caught lacking, then you will get dropped really quickly. Mm -hmm. I died many times, even a couple in the final stretch. Sometimes the boss gets oh. a Zenkai boost to something and will splatter you from across the room, <laughs> only poking the slightest bit of his head out. But with sheer mm -hmm. Man, and that's pain. Drop a ride, drop the it's not, it's, it's only getting sorry though. in this Discord. I menacingly walk yeah, I know. the boss <laughs> like a Sith Lord and my little art buddy delivers sweet retribution. Oh, I admire his tenacity. I could never do this. <laughs> with only Arc Soul Fury. Now we move on to the mission that has been consistent kicking my ass in these past couple of challenges. And this one is no exception. On my ride to the first fight, I pop a sweet trick and eat shit on the landing, but with no mommy to kiss it better, I'm like, <laughs> I'm to be brave. I fight like a Navy SEAL, but that doesn't stop the fate.
phalanxes from stopping me from dealing damage and a scion taking advantage of that by sniping me in the back. I notice a turret firing at me no. chase after it. We mutually destroy each other, but joke's on it. I'm a deranged immortal with sanity problems. At our return, I give the cabal trying to kill me a final attempt and enter the first arena. Not only do I have to deal with the legion of legion soldiers inside of the first arena, the game also throws out not one, but two vehicles, and I need to destroy them both. Yeah. Ooh, so God, it takes a legendary. Long that took, mm -hmm. Then you'll realize mm -hmm. this is a painful experience. Every time I die, I also have to fight through an army of soldiers. There is an insane amount of competition in this arena, and a single slip-up means it's back to the beginning. In my last challenge run, the tanks were really generous, but they must have oh. patched them or something because now being close to them um, will cause them to launch out their side missiles. I forgot oh, yeah. I, forgot the, I, just I forgot the mission. Travis sure. chosen these video rockets was have the ability to catch that. you off guard if you slip up and My bad. Oh, up that's fine. <laughs> this was probably the spot. I've seen that the one anyway. My sword to make an escape when things got dicey, but even with that, I must have died about 20 or so times. My death count might not reflect that because there were times where I had to take a break because a single death right when you're at the end just sucked the willpower clean out of me. But thankfully, oh. I managed to kill the first I understand that. I understand. It got stuck in one spot, meaning I just had to sit there and wait for it to die. Even with that, this still took a long time. So, uh, you guys, uh, come around. Oh, that's painful you, uh, too been, uh, to your mother? Because I have. <laughs> After shooting the <laughs> it exploded in glorious arc soul retribution, and I ascended into the pyramid. I blast my way through Help. the pyramid with newfound vigor. I kill the enemies in the oh. stairs by bobbing and weaving. I knew that there was a have... oh, this leg, I so I moved. Hmm. Oh, well. close the gap and managed to take it out. Then I was ready for the fight before the boss. Instead of using my old <laughs> tactics of hiding behind the statue like a coward, I tightened my cabals and only hid behind they the statue. Died by I rushed around the arena, cleaned out the cabal, and entered the boss fight. <laughs> All things considered, this fight was very formulaic. The only real problem was the phalanxes that spawned in. But with careful maneuvering, I take them out. The boss actually takes quite a bit of damage from the Ark Soul, and when the minions spawn in, I can clean them up with some light dodging. There wasn't very much sweating going on here. It was more of a battle of endurance. I kill the boss, get overconfident, and get assaulted on the bridge, but with tactical running away, I manage to survive. I get into a fight with some Colossus on the bridge, but they're not taking Flash me down bang. easily this time. I have become learned in the ways. Then it was on to the final boss room. If you remember in my white gear run, this uh, boss was slapping me so but in this run, I can just poke my Ark Soul out and uh, I gotcha. will constantly Dude, you broke. As long as I'm agile on my feet, Damn I can it. keep the damage up and stay alive. In this fight, I live life in the red with my health constantly a second away from flatlining. There were a couple of moments where things were looking I mean, dicey, but hiding be understandable. You should be able to my Ark Soul slayed Valis Draugr. I gave him a fancy spin uh, and a I think he's doing that. I thought about how mm. the real boss of this mission was those fucking tanks and how I'll never <laughs> recover mentally. And every time I see those tanks, <laughs> oh, I dang, yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> with only an arc soul. Ah, the mirror. Oh, I yeah. The, the mirror. Real tough missions kick up. I take a brief pause to show you my House of Mayrin drip. House of Mayrin <laughs> gang. Rise up. I then clear the first area and reach <laughs> one of my first major hurdles in this challenge. The darkness shard you oh, yeah. to progress is unable to be damaged by the arc soul. It mm -hmm. won't lock onto it and it won't attack it. I tried to think of other ways I can get past this, but nothing really came to mind. The rest of the mission goes really well, with the only real hiccups being the darkness shards I have to shoot in order you to progress. You that? I was about, he, he was about to boss, drop into the, the pit. <laughs> ...and enter the boss's room. But this time, since I'm not the squishy boy I was when I was here with my white gear, I can just bounce between the enemies in the main area. No more hiding away for Papa Rai. I'm here to beat Cheeks. I, I think... poke the Ark Soul out so I wouldn't get scorned raided. And once you do enough damage to the boss, yeah, apparently some abominations spawn in. Here I was casually minding my own damn business when these abominations show up. There was me, more before this. I take them out, once again become the AC-130. Damn it. It's all right. Visit, I do a sexy spin. What's that, Osiris? Be I will get to them. Yeah, to send telepathically. Hold on. It's coming we'll to me. To it's them. coming. I'm coming. Now, here we are at the cunning. There was an aspect of this mission that had me concerned, as I had no idea whether or not the Ark Soul would track well. But even with all that uncertainty, at least there was something I could do to brighten one person's day. One thing that has consistently plagued these challenge and the Destiny community as a whole is a considerable lack of the use of Jade Rabbit. I pulled this gun out as the Jade Rabbit has been lurking in my comments oh, no. to consistently deliver such banger comments as these. What kind of lad would I be if I allowed this crime to continue? I mean, Traveler's chosen. time to run away. For this transgression, my arch nemesis plan. Eh, I prefer Villagent Swing. You scorn raiders. Normally, I could just blast away the scorn in the raiders. Challenge is tough because they place lurkers everywhere that my arc soul can't get around very easily. This extended the time I was fighting, but if you jump above them, usually you can land a shot or two. It's just a matter of time when killing them. I clear the scorn, assault the abominations, but the two shielded captains ran away to provide them with some extra armor. I took them down, and upon killing the abominations, the rest of the scorn despawned. Definitely a useful tip for later challenges. I'm once again throttled by the challenge as I cannot progress unless I destroy the medallions. The only issue being that my arc soul does not track towards them. This means mm. that I must 
actually fire my Jade Rabbit. When will you be pleased, Jade Rabbit? I'm not sure whether or not this is the only thing I've shot so far. Never. Inanimate objects. The bunnies. Never. Brutal. There are tons of lurkers and shielded enemies. Nothing that being persistent can't fix. And I enter the temple, cinematically take in the beauty, dive down towards the bridge, once yeah, again get my ass beat by the captains, and decide to run away. One day, the view you can have in this campaign. I have to shoot more talismans, get absolutely yeah. planted. Then begin lowering the bridge. Oh, this point, we are now about my bong. Power color in their GPUs. They're my arch nemesis. Darkness to my light. The Activision to my bungee. The Stompies pre nerf shot <laughs> to my entire Destiny community. <laughs> That's right. Once again, I've crashed. Damn you. Oh, you no. Good for my shorts. No. Ooh. I take a moment to appreciate the melee. So, fun fact. I feel so powerful when I have more told these videos. My hand. Every the time. I kill the abomination. His GPU. You make the game glory crash. points and then charge the boss. Normally, this score and raider boss sends me over and me to flavor town, but this time I can just poke my arc soul out. Strangely enough, way, D2 well, is one of the games that never crashes for me. Compared to every other challenge run, I use my old tactic of hiding away. Eventually, the boss. So far, I think the only game that really does give me any issues currently is Dark Tide, and they're working on that one. Now, this is the part that had actually had me worried in the beginning of this mission. Oh god! I had no oh, idea this fucker! To an Ahamkara, especially I forgot about this one. Huge. It's a single weak spot that opens That's a huge after beat. it has fired a volley. Well, it turns That's a huge out my concerns beat. were placed as I was unable to deal damage. It turns out that the tracking point is on the Amkara's dick or something. It's <laughs> nearly impossible to get the proper angle on it. I tried all over yeah. trying to get every angle. What but you why? Oh it my properly. god. I must have tried for about half an hour just looking for an angle. Most of the time, I could only land a single bolt onto the mouth of the Amkara. And the damage was so inconsistent and hard to reproduce that this would have taken hours upon hours upon hours to complete. So with a heavy heart... And great sadness. Riley failed here. Previously, when I had to fire my weapon, I was unsure if it counted as failing the challenge as those were inanimate objects. But this time, it was definitive. My only way forward was to ready my Jade Rabbit and deliver Scout Rifle Retribution. I had to gun down the Ahamkara. But I only used the Arc Soul to damage the enemies that would spawn in between waves, trying to still keep the run as true as possible. I'm not just gonna quit because the run has a hiccup. I still need to complete That's it. Good. It is the only way. I finished off the Ahamkara. Yeah, fair enough. Work with what you got. Fight me! <laughs> held my sword guard to avoid getting raided. I carefully avoided ramming into the scorn and the bridge as that would count as non-Arc Soul damage and just barely made it to the elevator and didn't complete the communion with only an Arc Soul. Moving on to the last chance, I bolt down the hallway towards the first encounter. Things go smoothly as I bob and weave perfectly. I may be half dead all the time, but Mama didn't raise no bitch and I didn't hear no bell. Now you may be noticing that in this footage there's a bit of stuttering. I was waiting for list of the 900 times power color has fisted my <laughs> I tried to sword fly past all the encounters to save myself some time, thinking I was making a 1000 IQ play. But when I got to the last spot, Bungie was onto me and my shenanigans, and it wasn't working this time. So I thought, how far could I take this? Maybe I could fly all the way to the bridge and skip most of the mission. I took flight in what seemed like the perfect angle, but Bungie got me once again. Ah, you bastards. No. <laughs> it didn't even spawn in the hive goo, so I got attacked and glitched my way into the next encounter. I restarted the mission and thought it might be a fluke. Tried it once again because I will ram my head against that wall if I feel this is the really? But Bungie was definitely on me. <laughs> the wall with vibranium or some shit, and I was forced to do it the right way. I stuttered my way to the next deep side encounter, oh, and when no. trying to fight these acolytes... <sighs> My GPU crashed once again. No! Damn you, power oh, power. Yeah, pain. If you have the chance, avoid these GPUs at all costs. This has been torture. <laughs> but upon reloading, I cap my frames at 60, put all my graphical settings to low, and get to the first fight. I can tell these challenges have honed me as a weapon of the light as I roll in like I own the place and beat these hive like they owe me money. The hive guardian is easy as well as I can just hang by these stairs so, and do all the work for me. I all know I just me, reloaded back in and all, but as I was, I was uh, restarting my VR, Zach uh, messaged me and asked me if I was coming over, and I did say I would be over there by either 6:30 or 7. Yeah, I understand. If you got, if you gotta go, gotta go. Yeah, I have the power of an arc soul on armor that just won't fall under a slight breeze. So I'm really ready to smack the shit out of this encounter. seen, you will see, you will see once I will edit the video and all that stuff. Yeah, you won't, you won't miss anything since I'll be posting the video after editing it all. 
it. I destroy the gunk on You're giving him a fist bump before you go. And close in on the wizard and my little arc buddy. Are you? On all the times you kicked my teeth and it was then I should have been here. I've grown accustomed to having it. Yeah, we'll see you later, Rob. I've become one, a single weapon honed by the battlefield. I would follow this beautiful bastard anywhere. Now one thing I haven't mentioned until this point is that the knights take an incredibly long time to take down. They constantly pop shields to heal the damage you dealt. Oh, I hate these things. I hate these been things a too. Lot, and I mean a lot of nights. But I make my way up the tower. Throughout this whole journey, I haven't given enough love to the Ark Soul. He's been trucking along the entire time, and for Fuck. once in a challenge run, not e. making my life. I missed up. Yeah. We'll take a it happens. I missed up. <laughs> I've done. I've done that too. On the other side. We then kill the knights and acolytes inside. Gather the sword. Defeat the other enemies at the gate. This knight tries to heal on me, but Riley pulls up behind him, and with our forces combined, Ark Buddy and I vaporize his ass. Then we run inside, and dear God, they're eating me. I perform <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, power but colors nom, nom. brief respite from roundhouse kicking oh, me in the ripples, and I'm allowed to fight without so much as a stutter. The hide wizards have the same problem as in the other challenges that they pop healing wells all the time when they're not in super. They can actually heal more damage than ideal, so long yeah. as I don't sustain the DPS. Yeah. This was a big problem in yeah. the damage traveler's chosen run, but the region has nothing on the chat. Sendy and Ark Soul, as it shreds through its health. I cause the boss to go <laughs> immune and run away, and upon giving this ogre the business, it gets angry. Zenkai boost, Zenkai boost. I wind up dying, and upon returning, I activate my inner <laughs> I kill the ogre and progress into the next room. I rinse and repeat. I have become one with the Ark Buddy. Savathun's right hand meets Riley's right hand in an epic showdown. The hordes unleashed upon me in the second room cannot stand against the might of the sentient Ark Soul. As I tear through the hive as if they were butter, I cause the boss to go immune and run away. This is where I belong, on the battlefield. The rush of war coursing through my veins. I revel in the combat and son of a bitch! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh no! I've only insulted your products at like at every the third corner. Time. Oh right. no! Anyways, I, I make it to the end boss's final room and sentence her right to death there. by Soul Fury. I partake in the ancient art of bagging and tagging, then send that ghost back to the light, beating the last chance with only an Arc Soul. So yeah. here we finally stand, ready to take down the Witch Queen. You know, I've watched my previous videos, and every time on the Sparrow run up to the Witch Queen, I get all sentimental and mm -hmm. tell an emotionally charged story about destiny and its place with myself. Usually these come about because I've been getting my ass kicked all week, but this time, I've only suffered a little bit. So instead of telling a story about destiny, how about I tell a story about us? You've been with me as I've stared down the Witch Queen without taking damage. With a damaged traveler's chosen and while wearing all white gear, yeah, I've so rarely addressed you. You have been a specter we, on these journeys. With a like basically three videos me from the beginning to the end, each behind, every single time. Or without you watching these challenges and taking well, part in the story ahead, that I created, ahead, there yeah. would be no Riley Reloaded. Well, there we go. <laughs> it has been an amazing journey, and one that I am glad to have had you shepherd me on my way from the small little challenges that started oh, yeah i've seen the i've one seen one the years. traveler's chosen one when you showed me that vid so that one's a boss so crazy yeah. tedious laughed and shared in the mental degradation that defines me i cannot thank you enough so buckle up chuckle nuts and let's go kill us a witch queen chuckle nuts. my arc buddy at my side i roll in like an auger of their demise i hop skip and jump my way into ending all the smaller enemies and when i take down the guardian i shatter the veil that holds it to this world do a sexy spin as Ikora annihilates the ogre and try to smack the ball <laughs> off that vanguard. I cross the bridge at impressive speeds but get humbled by this ogre's laser. Take a seat while Ark Soul takes care of the hard Oh bits my god! The, <laughs> the, the balls. I the are the bane of Can I get my balls? There are sorry. six in total. Oh, are oh. and far away, <laughs> making them extremely hard to target with the Ark Soul and get a proper angle on. The wizards in the first area go down pretty quickly. In fact, most enemies in here go down quickly as the Ark Soul still deals pretty good damage and the arc soul can target the crystals this room with the ogre is the first spot i encounter the problem oh hi <laughs> nearly every spot Peek inside of this room a room yeah, which must right. enter in order to deal damage to the shrieker i eventually settled on kill the smaller enemies and then use the runaway approach to this fight that was all fine as you don't need to kill the shriekers up until i reach the second floor this area with the wizards and the shriekers stopped me during my tracks. i couldn't for the life of me figure out how to move past it it was a hail of bullets every single time i came in the open which was something that was basically impossible to avoid yeah. if you were looking to progress as you needed to kill the wizards. Then, after dying once again, I sat down and took a breather as this was the first time I did not know how to progress. Sometimes, however, you need a moment. Hell, I've taken my fair share of breathers when darkness closed around me both in this game and out. But even when the light of day seems far off and the outcomes are looking bleak, remember that you are a guardian at the crossroads of light and dark. You were the one oh, chosen. Oh, that's the music well, that's from the this encounter. about the guardians and the light. While you may have been chosen <laughs> as a servant to that higher Here's purpose, Always remember, 
through all of that, you were not chosen alone. Yep. You guys ready to kill us? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the transition between something serious and then back to this! Let's get it. <laughs> it's then just it. silly. Wait, I love it. Wait, they actually don't deal enough damage to deal damage to me. <laughs> I can overheal the Oh yeah, he's heal. doing he have he's oh, having like the stronghold uh, the exotic triggers. arms. They've been a kick in my ass. This is so beautiful. Have you, have uh, you they have been kicking any, my ass. Any plans for the shriekers before we stepped in with our glorious blades? The plan was to run at them and hopefully they die. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Imperial Guard that tactics. Was... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. My screen is shaking so bad. <laughs> oh, no, I live life in the red. I need to go back. Then go back. <laughs> oh, let me <laughs> back, back. Ah! <laughs> oh, we have dealt oh, like God. no damage to that ogre. We we need we need to move. Oh, fuck. we need to get close. Yeah. I'm gonna pop a bubble so we can move a yeah. little bit more to the left. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it up here. Friends, I'm gonna go friends. where Zeno is, yeah. Over here, over here. <laughs> yeah, this fight ain't so bad. It ain't Heck so yeah, bad. Yeah. If, if you so put bad. down a table right there, maybe a sofa. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> make this place feel like home? Where we park in the boat, I put the ad in ad clear. Because I make more enemies. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing raid strats, but I'm just doing something that got like no right. practical value. You know, when you said you were coming in as a titan, I was like, I don't see how that's gonna work. Then you popped on bullet sponge. Like, that is the only that's thing a I bullet think sponge. Of to help. Was I, yeah. I couldn't mm -hmm. pop like getaway artist, so I could pop bullet sponge. That's what I could do. By the way, I'm that's just fair. Right now, there mm -hmm. is a way to get around doing the crystals. There is. <laughs> oh it yeah. Wouldn't really look right challenge wise if we didn't do it through the entire mission. I will take. Any shortcut that I can get my hand <laughs> on at this point. I mean, I, I'm not durable enough to uh -oh, stand on uh -oh, top of the crystal. I am more durable enough. <laughs> I think the pattern is the same. Locations are different. As Titans oh, I are durable, it. Riley. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I am literally the strongest character here, <laughs> health wise. I like how the, uh, yeah, you're the strongest guy, and I'm like, I got this, boys. <laughs> yeah, you can find <laughs> the crystals. I'm okay with using shortcuts. Alright, fine. Um, let's try and clear our ads in the main room so I don't get peppered by too much, and it's just gonna be the wizard. Wait, Cosmic, you look at me. Your textures are shit because my <laughs> is set to low, so I don't crash. <laughs> I love, I love, I love that. that is amazing. All right, here's how this is gonna go down. You're gonna go in there. You're gonna kill them all. You're gonna stay on top of the crystal. I'm gonna sit back and do nothing. Yes, sir. <laughs> then our job is to be as useless as possible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. <clears throat> yeah. Return to our baby. <laughs> so let's get rid of the action here. Less bullets, the better. I like that you have secret techniques, Cosmic. I told you, I'm a smart titan. I'm not completely brain dead. Mostly, but not completely. Why is that oh, supposed to mean? Titan, the the dumbest <laughs> oh, give me some maneuvers. They're spazzing out all over the place. Just sit behind <laughs> me, it's shooting me. 9.9! <laughs> Look at this sick challenge gameplay. Let's be honest here. This oh, come on, you can give him a 10. Look like just sitting there, Star Walt shield. Well, two warlocks just Dan. sniff your heels. You know, all I was right. on the fence about you doing the Titan thing, but it's actually pretty great. I told you. You don't gotta run around as much. Here, pop a rift here so I can move in and try and get the crystals. Yeah, I can get it inside the shit. It did 222, or 220. Oh, uh, Cosmic, you're making my life so much easier. You know, I'm gonna use this on everything, right? <laughs> I'm so excited to see this work. Ow. New strats. Got oh it. my god! <laughs> oh, <amazing>. nice. <laughs> Holy shit. Mm -hmm. You just god. changed the challenge run meta, Cosmic. You're welcome. <laughs> Holy shit! That's amazing. <laughs> you know how much this would have helped me in so, so many funny challenges. enough, oh, let's go. Riley, that's it's amazing. Because of, it's because of well, your all video. Of these work, boys. I did show <laughs> to your other friends <laughs> th this uh, this cheese. I can't believe you. And on, Cosmic, also during your stream. <laughs> so that's Come thanks on. to you, that's thanks to you and your friend Cosmic sorry, for uh, for that. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> hey, if this video. A galaxy so brain stretch. Yep. <laughs> 
<laughs> Love it. I swear to God, if I don't hear at least one comment <laughs> You're just gonna hear me like, like uh, Cosmic doesn't know nothing. I saw it on a video, I forget who it was. I think it was, uh, higher or like... No, you came up with it. You came up with the idea. <laughs> Alright, I'll gladly take all the credit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Riley, oh my god. Join? My <laughs> Look, you're gonna win the Guardian games, just let me have this. <laughs> who are they gonna believe? You or me, the YouTube guy? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No! Oh no! Oh, stand a chance, no. <laughs> you got it, cocky. Oh, <laughs> come on, come on. Come yeah, on. all right. There we go. Kill it. Oh. Yes. Let's go. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Holy shit! That's a brutal one. Finally. That was close. <laughs> The pain. The pain. <laughs> the pain. <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. How did you... <laughs> yeah, how did you get over this? I got the guard. I can do it. I can guard uh... while, while gliding. Oh my god. Woo. Woo. Goodbye. Woo. Ah. Goodbye, brothers. Goodbye. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, <darn. laughs> Sorry, I've done this many they times before. The... I'm basically an expert. They couldn't ha hold a candle up to my brilliance. Oh, I was wrong. Get the <laughs> Get the <laughs> I think you got it. You're just watching up there. That's too much fire. <laughs> I think you got it. Uh, can I see you from down here? There's <laughs> 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 a checkpoint already. <laughs> Bert. Right. I'm being abused. Riley, promise you something. I get the credit for it. Oh my god! Being abused? Checkpoint, you understand? Never! Oh, yes. Never! No! Never! No. Blast it. I mean, this is the point where I would have dropped something, to, but then again, he's doing Warlock, so he can't drop a shield. I don't like that. I don't like that it tails. Riley. Why? Oh, darn. I'm gonna and, use that sweet, sweet for damage resistance. From a super. That's not going to change shit. Oh god. He's, he's That's still not going to change though. shit. Come on, baby. Oh wait, no, yes. actually. It's... Oh, it does. All right, credits oh. mine. Oh. Never mind. Made it. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> I'm stuck with slam. You did it. Are you trying to stop the me? Oh from my the super? god. Yep. And my beautiful Probably jade not. rabbit. Are there any words? Oh, this moment. <laughs> yeah, there's Go jade rabbit. Off against the witch queen. Crystals are my credit. See you in the jade rabbit. Oh yeah, you, we gotta speak about the Jade Rabbit. Have, have you heard about the the best exotic in the game, Jade Rabbit? No. No. He just He just salvage it. He did. I've become a true believer in the power of the Arch Soul. We still died many times here, and surprisingly, though, it wasn't to Savathun herself. It was actually all the little enemies, and more specifically, it was this asshole, the Hive Knight, for some reason predicted the future better than the fucking Vex, and could always land a grenade exactly where either going or going to be. We could be standing still, and just no. But this encounter was uh, broken down in a pretty simple way. That Cosmic was a weird hitbox, Bungie. Sabathun ...and keep her distracted with this stronghold build, while Zeno and I would do all the real work by standing still, doing nothing, and letting the Ark Soul do it all for us. <laughs> when Samathun loses enough energy, <laughs> she spawns in a wave of enemies, once at around a quarter and once at about half. These have ogres and a ton of acolytes inside them that will kill you quick if you're left out mm -hmm. in the open, and did manage to catch us off guard a couple of times. Then we kill all the <laughs> light bearers, <laughs> and spawned them in, to we die. Out her she resurrects and it was finally time to enter the final showdown. I may not have shown it in these clips, but each section probably took about an hour or two to complete. Oh, with wow. many deaths and resets in between. Ooh, hour. was yet to come. Yes! No! I'm not. Just uninstalled. And I'm just saying that you don't have the, uh, you didn't have glass no, breaker no, too. I, <laughs> I didn't have some oh, God. concerns about this. We all take our own separate time. Alright. Well, imagine not being able to arc soul. You are a liability. <laughs> wow. He's <laughs> constantly yeah. attacking Cosmic. It's not wrong. I'm kidding, Cosmic. You know I love you. 
He's lying. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> hey, technically, you killed me with a sword. You didn't kill me with a arc soul. Runs ruin. Shit, you right. Now the power is combined. So no, uh, a three orb, not there. Run, run. You're just blocking Ooh. my shots. I know. I'm only letting my shots hit. I'm going back to the main area. Oh god. Here we go. Let's oh god. go. No, nope. oh, it didn't take me. It didn't take me. <laughs> Cosmic gaslighter. <laughs> I am the Reddit gatekeeper. Rumor. Gaslighter. Why did they bring us? We're not allowed um, to be happy. No. He has two. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she got more toes when she got Oh, for toys? God's sake. What? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Talking about oh, toes. Upgrade. The darkness gives you your toes an upgrade? Sign me up. So Alright, now tell me what you think of this Thousand Island skin. Did I make the right choice? I kind of like it. I feel like it might just be me hating oh, on the helmet because I don't like the helmet, so but I feel like there might be a better. Oh, wait. No, oh. no, no, no. The wow, gun. Why are you the gun? Insulting <laughs> my, <laughs> why are you insulting my style? I'm like, hey, you like yes, this I gun? Like and Zeno's like, damn, yeah. you're ugly. Wait, isn't that his verdict? I was like, isn't like, no, I don't think he has that on right now. He must, um, that must be the name for his skin. I have to so take a look at it again, but I think so. Don't you die. No. I think we, I think they I mentioned died. it. You have a res, right? He has the res. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn, Zeno. No. Nope. No, 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 This is not how it goes. Oh, shit. <laughs> just well, that's a rip. <laughs> well, oh, my God. He died. He's doing the same move Step up, die boy. Damning. Reported. <laughs> Reported. Big <laughs> Edward for both of you. It isn't worth the risk going with yeah. all three of the wizards, though. Yeah. Not a... Oh. You got a res, right? Oh. <laughs> Oof. I got it. Or not. <laughs> yeah, so it's a blast in it. You drive by me on the revive. Now, I also excluded in this video the amount of times that we have died. Samathun has been oh, chewing God. us up and <laughs> spitting us out for ages at this point. I have three separate recordings of just this fight. What? Each about an hour and 40 minutes long. Oh. So what you're seeing here is uh. the culmination of getting my ass kicked for the oh. we, we That's about four stand, hours. It was actually just a rinse and repeat oh. of the last encounter before we crossed another oh. final fight. Cosmic will get her to continually proc her oh. yeah, However, she likes to change who she's attacking frequently, so you still have to actively yeah. Yeah. Other abilities that that she swings at. I also learned that if you kill all oh the minor God. enemies, you can use a thread cutter two trick from the previous. Darn, I cannot do that. You can attack Sabathun and Belle to peace. <laughs> the only real threats being her and the thrall she spawns in at half health, but these go down extremely quickly, even with the Arc Soul. Now there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears brought into this final <laughs> section. Ever since I brought these A tier lads in at the Crystal section, the enemies have been beefed up to the point where it takes all three of us I'll focusing say S -tier, on a knife for not a minute a. And 30 seconds just to kill one. It jacked up the difficulty to 11. You pair that with a token system of the legendary campaign, meaning that oh, you can yeah. only revive your friends once per player, and you've got a recipe for many resets, mm -hmm. which there were a lot of. And even though it may seem like this final phase is nice and easy, there was a lot of figuring out and playtime that went into these final moments. Through it all, these lads stuck by me and my dumb ideas. I'm gonna keep roping people into my shenanigans if it kills me. But we bear witness with this. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of a glorious challenge as the Ark Soul burns away the last remaining bits of life from Sabathun. <laughs> Yeah! yeah! <laughs> nice. No. Yeah. Dead. Yeah. Uh, it's it. over. And as Sabathun lay dying, <laughs> and the travelers retreat back to the safety of the insane guardians in the last city upon us, our good work was finally complete. And I did not beat the Witch Queen campaign with only an Ark Soul. Thank you all so much for watching and sticking by me while I get this behemoth of a project out. And I know I don't upload too frequently, but I've got this thing where I want to make things that are interesting to watch and respect people's time. And I'm going to try to take a brief break from this sort of thing to release some smaller video projects, so if you want your Riley Reloaded fix, then get away from me! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I do want to be more present on the channel, though, and hopefully I'll be able to do that in the next little while. This video was really fun to make, but I vastly underestimated it. But before I take off, I want to thank my patrons for supporting me even supporting me even through being slow with getting anything made. Big thanks to our and his cringe, Rin Hale, Carlos Facundo, Madeline Celestia, some dude with a scar, Bogo's Binted, Super Steven, Mondo 117, <laughs> James Escalante, Brighton, Omega Null, Samarchi Desk Hopper, Nand, Lost the Bob, Xavier Human, and Fufu Akio. And a huge thanks to Gamer Weenus for sending me a way to finally stop my PC from overheating. <laughs>
Maybe now the power color will finally be pleased. But with all that out of the way, thank you for watching. I've been Riley, and I can't wait to catch you in the next one. <laughs> right. Well. <laughs> that. Like, to, honestly. To, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to me, at least. I just. I just love your energy. Like, your energy, your, your goofiness, and, and all of it. I. That what makes my day better every time I am watching your videos and trust me when I say this Riley if you ever watch this thank you for making my day and and may and I'm pretty sure to do that to many others too because as I've t I, I said as I told you in your last video uh, the uh, our Iron Banner one. Um, you are one of my favorite uh, Destiny 2 content creators because you you basically key, uh, keep the whole video being entertaining. I'm not saying that others don't. You just have your your way that suits me pers personally. Now, I'm going to ask this to what do you think of the thing about Isaac? Well, just like you said, his energy is quite contagious, actually. <laughs> Very <laughs> contagious, actually. And there wasn't a single moment that I didn't want to chuckle or laugh my lungs out. Mm hmm. Because I was. I had to mute myself a few <laughs> couple of times because I was wheezing. <laughs> what? Why? Why would you mute yourself? Because <laughs> I was wheezing too hard. <laughs> the, the, po the point is, the fact that since I'm recording this, I also want your guys' reaction for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get, well, you get get a few. <laughs> You know what? Fair <laughs> anything? <laughs> anything else? Wicked content. Keep at it. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Cole? Yeah, I want to have a dude very entertaining. You know, there's like the energy, the timing. That like with all the scripting he does with these jokes of every time that something goes wrong, especially <laughs> how many times he's had to turf it to get that <laughs> these challenges done is just crazy. Admittedly, yeah, the guy's got more tasks than I do because I would not have tried this for very long before I'd be like, screw it, I'm not doing this no more, and pulled out the hammer. <laughs> so here's here's a th here's the thing. I did the legendary campaign. First alone, when the ca when the camera as a hunter wasn't nerfed yet, uh, and then <laughs> I made the mistake to go with two other people, and I noticed the difference. <laughs> the enemies hit harder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have more health. <laughs> it's so much more difficult. <laughs> but honestly, you have all. My respect, Riley, because to spend that much time and that much effort into challenges like that, like mad respect, mm -hmm. like seriously, mad respect, like I know I wouldn't be able to do it <laughs> because uh -oh. if, even if I do, I would pr I would possibly do that on stream first, but. I will lose my mind. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> oh no, oh no, 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 no. I yeah. think that I think that just gave me an idea. I, I think that just gave me something, something to do. Oh boy! Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I might follow your path, Riley. I might go into it and lose my mind in the process. <laughs> but, 
But yeah. The what really impresses me, as I said, is the time you spend on each and every single mission. Because like you just said in this in the, like in this video, I think it was th I think you said three recordings of an hour and 40-ish minutes for one encounter being the last boss along the other missions that was before so I cannot imagine oh, yeah. how, you can see how I, I wince every time I think of that <laughs> yeah but I highly recommend watching Riley Reloaded's uh, <laughs> videos. I will put his channel like around here, some around here somewhere. Like I will try to, do, I will try to do what I can. Um, I it also be in the uh, description below. But that was that was Wild Nightmare Emperor. And Isaac, and Isaac 20. We are going to see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye.